I S U P K. To the family, brother Red Pill representing on the ledge. Do me a favor, family. Make sure you subscribe to I S U P K on YouTube. Get some of that fire that the brothers are delivering. Some of that good information. All right. Brat. Shalom, D.C. We're the Israelite School of Universal of Practical Knowledge. We're out of 1 West, under the 25th Street Hall of New York. We're not affiliated, associated with any other Israelite group on the face of the planet. If it doesn't say I should be K under commanding Jeremy Ahana, it's not of the truth, okay? And today, I want, I want black, black people right now today, and I'm going to start real quick, okay? I'm going to get in there real quick, okay? Black people today, man, like so much is going on in the earth, man, against black people, man. Every nation is against you, man. And the reason why every nation is against you, every nation against blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians is because you have sinned against your, your power, okay? And you believe in and you love the white man, okay? The so-called white man, okay? The Bible says the white man is the damn devil that the Bible speak of, man. He's the devil, okay? Right? You can't trust him. You can't trust him. We've been trusting in him for 500 years, and we still talk about we, we trying to get equal rights. Do you know, do you know to keep a slave enslaved, right? Guess what? My economic system will never fail. But the moment the slaves have to leave your economic system, right? Guess what happened? Your whole system failed because the whole system have been around the slavery of blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, okay? That is the reason why white, so-called white people say that they love you, but you get no justice, okay? You get no justice with the white man because the white man is a liar, okay? He's a thief. He came over here and say, my country tis a thief. But guess what? Go say that to the Native American Indians. Go say that to the Native American Indians. Give me a, uh, give me Psalms, uh, give me Psalms uh, two and one. Give me Psalms two and one, man. Okay, we gonna get you some evidence. Okay, that these people have never loved you. They'll never love you. And guess what? They've been scheming and plotting against you for 500 years. As a matter of fact, I'll take it back even further than that. We'll take it back to the time of Christ. Okay, Christ was a black man. And guess what happened? They killed him. They allowed the Pharisees and Sadducees to kill him. Okay? Not all, all, not all Pharisees and not all Sadducees killed Christ. Okay? But the ones that you see today that's in the Christian church are of the, of the seed of the Pharisees of old. Okay? They teaching the same damn thing. Okay? When Rome had us in subjection, those people loved the people that had us in subjection. And they told us, if you don't go by what they say and do, yo, we got, we got something for you. That's why Christ said, do as they say, but not what they do. You understand what I'm saying? Like Christ was, Christ was cutting the hell out of them, right? Because they was telling you to do one thing, but they was out doing another one. That's your pastors. We come out here, we live by this Bible. If this Bible tell us that the white man the devil, guess what I'm gonna come out here and say? Hey! I'm going to come out here and say the white man the goddamn devil, That's okay? Right. 
All right? All right? I'm going by what the Bible say, not what I say. But I'm going to give you evidence of these people, okay? You got Psalm 2, Psalm 2 and 1? All right, read on, read. Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. And the heathens rage, man. You know what I mean when it says rage, man? The heathens get mad when we come out and say, yo, man, listen. Y'all done, done raped, robbed, pillaged, and murdered us for over 500 years and 400 years in America. Why would you even get mad about that, right? And they still killing you right now. And guess what? Even, listen, let me tell you something. And that little damn movement, Black Lives Matter, man, you let damn white people in there, and guess what? It's hijacked now, okay? The same thing with the Black Panther Party. They let white people in there, and guess what happened, man? Guess what happened? They hijacked that whole thing. Guess what, what, guess what the reason why they hate us so much? Guess why they rage against us so much? Because we know that history, if you don't, if you don't know the history, then everything that happened to you is bound to repeat itself, okay? Right? Read on. The kings of the earth. The what? The kings of the earth. And the white man is the king in the earth right now. The white man decides every damn thing. I saw a show where this damn white man was over asking the Chinese about Chinese business. Why the hell you ask the Chinese about their business talking about you got you got camps, you got camps up in, in, in the hills that nobody go in, that you got people prison. And this Chinese didn't know a damn thing. He couldn't really elaborate on it. But guess what? A spiritual man would have elaborated on it and told you what was going on. Because guess what? 2.5 million Negroes is locked up in America. That's a goddamn shame. And guess what? Negroes ain't doing that damn much dirt. You understand what I'm saying? The white man doing just as much dirt. They just shot in the sister's car. Just the other day, because they was talking about a robbery suspect was in the car. The man came out, the dude that they say whatever was a robbery suspect, he came out with his hands up. The damn, the, 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 the police cut his cameras off because you know what he's getting ready to go do? He's getting ready to go do dirt. And guess what, man? Because they done hijacked Black Lives Matter, guess what? Black Lives Matter, guess what? It don't mean a goddamn thing because you got white people in there. Because now the cops talking about Blue Lives Matter. And guess what? It allows them to shoot your kid down in the street. Because now they're going to say Blue Lives Matter. And guess what? Blue Lives look out for Blue Lives. Why the hell blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians not looking out for each other? Every goddamn body get to look out for each other. The Chinese look out for Chinese. You understand? The white man look out for white people. The damn Ethiopians look out for Ethiopians. Africans look out for Africans. The Arabs look out for other Arabs. Why the hell we got to love everybody else? Why the hell we got to show everybody else our love? Love and hate is complimentary to each other. I can't stand it. I hate the person that want to kill my children. I hate the people that want to kill my children. You understand me? I don't have no love for that. Because guess what? Nobody can't console me if somebody killed my 15-year-old. Ain't nobody can console me. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to hear a damn thing you killed my son. And guess what, man? Be listen, get something about yourself, black man, Hispanic man, or else black people gonna die on the earth because the kings, right? Listen to what he said. When he said the kings of the earth, the white man is the king in the earth right now, okay? The white man is the king in the earth. Whatever he says, goes. Whatever he says, goes. Read. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together. And the kings set themselves up, okay? That's what they be, that's what they call it, like the Rothschilds or, or whoever, the 2%, right? And he said, the kings set themselves up and what? And the rulers. And the rulers, and guess what? Guess, like I said, who ruling the earth? Who, who, who ruling the earth, man? Okay? They blew down the towers, right? Okay, the Arabs, the so-called Arabs blew the towers down. But guess what though? Every year the white man killed 3,000 black, black men. Why the hell we ain't got an army to go against the white man? Because, guess what? <laughs> You've been duped in America to love everybody when everybody don't love you. You understand me? You've been duped to love them even when they kill your children. You kill a white man, you kill anybody. 
you kill a white man, guess what happens? The white man ready to go to war with every goddamn body. You understand me? All right? Guess what the white man, guess what Donald Trump said? He said Hispanics was rapists, murderers, and killers. You understand what I'm saying? But who killed more than a damn white man? He murdered 100 million Negroes coming to America. And then he had the audacity and goal to say, I'll never give you reparations. I'm not asking for no damn reparations because reparations ain't gonna call back my ancestors. You know what I want? Justice. Goddamn reparations. Reparations ain't justice. I want, ju I want justice. You know it's justice? That the white man had to serve the same time that he made us serve. 400 years of slavery. Get his damn back whipped. Okay? All right? All right? He raped, robbed, and murdered our sisters, man. And our brothers. You understand what I'm saying? They set themselves up in council, man. The leaders set themselves up in council together. Because guess what? You're not invited to this party. Okay? All right? When they set up the, they, when they set up the amendments, they set up the, 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 the amendments and everything, right? Guess what? You weren't invited to that party. You weren't welcome to that party. But we keep thinking we're a part of their party. The white man don't want you to be a part of his party. Okay? Who gonna clean up his damn house? Who gonna take out the trash? Who gonna do all the things that Negro's been doing? You understand me? You could be a damn football player, basketball player, but guess what they don't know? The statistics, and I want y'all young men to realize this. 75% of young men that go play professional sports, right? They wind up broke in America, okay? How the hell you broke after you make $100 million? Because the white man know how to steal it back from you. Right. There ain't no way in the hell you could be broke after $100 million. But he know how to steal from you. You understand me? We're not taking no damn what's called today, okay? We ain't taking no, no short today. You understand? Don't come to asking us a damn thing about taking shorts. We're not taking shorts because the white man is the goddamn devil. He just shot right. his sister in her face and shot her damn in her three babies. Shot in a damn car and tried to turn his damn his 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 uh, uh his body, body cam off. You understand what I'm saying? Don't come up here, man, asking us about the damn cause we say the white man the devil. Okay? You stop kissing his behind. Stop kissing his damn behind. The Bible say the white man the devil, and he's telling you what he does right now, Reed. Right. Set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. Against who? The Lord. And they set themselves and take counsel against the Lord. You understand? You understand? They take, they, they take counsel against the Lord. You know what they say, man? You know what they told you, man? They told you you was an African. That's setting themselves against the Lord. Because he know that the Lord gonna look out for the children of Israel. Right. So he make you think you're African so you could go and do African things. Right. You understand me? We got a sign over here that say we're not Africans. There's scriptures in the Bible that say you're not an African. But guess what we wanna do? Guess what we wanna do? We really take on that custom of Africans because we wanna live wicked. You say I believe in the Bible? Well, damn it, man. Well, damn it, we reading out the Bible, okay? Why you not going by? Why you not believing in it? Why you not understanding this Bible? For 400 years, right? For 300 years in America, they just set up these bougie Negroes that's calling themselves pastors, right? And we still ain't learned how to come and serve our God. We still eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, okay? We still out here dressing like homosexuals, slockier. Well, we still out here dressing like uh, uh, whores and prostitutes. When you better than that black woman and black man, you losing your feminist spirit, okay? When it's against the Lord to lose your feminine, lose your masculinity. You understand me? That's what they tell you. They, when they take counsel among themselves, they tell you you can do all those things to go against the most high. You understand what I'm saying? Tell you you can walk around with your damn shirt off, showing another man your nakedness. Have your pants down, pulled behind your butt, showing another man your nakedness. That's against the Bible. You understand me? And these pastors say, yo, the laws are done away with, right? Because they listening to these bougie, these bougie Negroes that's been taking counsel from these damn leaders, okay? 
purple of dollars. Your TD Jakes. All right? Read on. And against his anointing. And against his anointing. And guess what, black, Hispanic, and Native American man? You're the Lord's anointed, man. Okay? Okay? The Lord put the separation between you and everybody else. The Lord have anointed people, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And guess what, man? Guess what? Everybody else, that's why they got their other word, okay? <laughs> that's why they got their other word, heathens, okay? The Bible called other nations heathens, okay? You, they can't claim this book because it's prophecies in this book that go against a lot of the heathens. So who are the heathens? So black man in the church telling you that you're a heathen, right? That you're a Canaanite and whatnot, whatever, right? He's a damn idiot because he don't know history. When we came out of Egypt, we took that land from the Canaanites, right. okay? We ousted them out of that land, okay? That land was already promised to Abraham. We're not a Canaanite. That land was given to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, the so-called Jews today, the so-called Jews that's slaves in America today. Not that dude that's over there in Jerusalem and Israel talking about he a Jew today. He's not a damn Jew. That's the council that they've been going against uh, the anointed one with. Okay, read on. Say, let us break their bands asunder. And that's how they broke their bands asunder. Because guess what? Guess what? When you close to the Lord, you got a tight grip on the, on the Lord, right? And somebody wants to get you to go against them because guess what? We need these people in slavery right here. We need them in slavery. Guess what? Guess what they found out? They found out you were the one that built the pyramids. And guess what they trying to figure out today? They still trying to figure out who built the damn pyramids. You understand me, man? Wasn't no damn African because guess what an African can't do today? He can't even get his damn stuff together after, about, after that we left out of Egypt. That's been over 5,000 years. And guess what? Guess what? The damn, the Russians, the Germans, the, the, the British, the damn Italians, everybody is in Africa. The Chinese is in Africa. And guess what? That's how they live it. That's how they live it. But guess what? We was in Africa for 1,500 years fleeing from Romans. Okay? The Africans saw you thriving and said, we want you out of here. And he rounded you up and sold you to the white man. All right. That's how you was in Africa. You ran in 70 AD, okay? You ran from the white man in 70 AD from Roman persecution. I, I imagine if you've been there for 1,500 years and they don't give you your true identity or tell you your true history, you'll start to believe that you're African. And that's what he's saying. Like they took counsel to tell you that you're African. It's so heavy with the brother that's broke out too. Cause you gotta understand why during the Crusades, was the two superpower religions, Islam and Christianity, which back then was Roman capitalism, why were they fighting over Jerusalem? Why were they fighting over the Holy Land? Right. It wasn't Africa. Right. And they had three, you look up in history, it was three crusades over a land. It was three wars. Two superpowers fighting over a land. Right. All back then, why? It wasn't talking about Africa. Right. Because they knew that the people in this Bible right here, God's chosen people, right. that people love, that God love, that God cared for, that he called his special people, that he said that should rule above all other nations, right. was from Jerusalem. Right. That right. was motherland. Right. Right. Says in the scriptures, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Right. Right. It all started in Jerusalem, man. Right. And that's what we need to understand. Like I always hear people, every time we come to speak the truth to brothers and sisters, they say you preaching hate. Oh, we all bleed the same. We all bleed the same color of blood. Uh, gazelles bleed red, right? Lions bleed red. You don't see them coming together. Right. Uh, uh, chihuahuas and monkeys they bleed red. You don't see them coming together. Right. Just because we bleed red don't mean we're together, man. Right. The Lord right. said out of His own mouth, He gave every nation His portion. Gave every nation their own land, their own resource, their own history, their own culture. We were never supposed to come together. And because we listen to Negroes like Al Sharpton, who admit to be an FBI informant, right. a snitch. Right. 
Years in America, in the ghetto, we still, our, our community's still not cleaned up. We still getting gunned down by police. Our black leaders are supposed to be helping us get out of that condition, right? They're supposed to be helping the new generation, right? What about the water in Flint, Michigan? Right. Hold on, what, 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 when did it come out that the water in Flint, Michigan was messed up? Like five, five, six years ago? Ten, ten, damn. And they still didn't clean up the water in Michigan. But it wants to come together. We're not supposed to come together, man. Just like animals, you don't see animals come together because animals know their own kind. They know their own race, they know their own kind, man. That's why we need to come together, man. That's why we need to come together and stop always believing in America. America has failed us, man. We think we free in America. You're not free. You want to know you're not free? Ask the, you know, the 13th Amendment. 13th Amendment in the U.S. Constitution. They say slavery is over. Brothers and sisters that are locked up in prison are doing free labor. Forced labor for private companies. And companies that are supermarkets like Walmart, Kmart, Sears, those companies are getting, are, you know, are making bread off of those brothers and sisters that are in prison too. That's slavery. That's against their will. And what's messed up about it is, you're going to put brothers and sisters in, sla put brothers and sisters in prison to try to rehabilitate them. You're not going to rehabilitate a brother or sister by putting them in prison. How the hell are you going to uh, rehabilitate a brother that murdered somebody by putting them in the same place where other murderers are? Right. How you going to put, how you going to, that don't make sense. And then they're going to learn how to murder each other even more. And then when they get out, they're going to murder some more. You're not curing, it's not curing the disease, you're only making it spread more, man. Right. right. That's why we need to stop all this foolishness is coming together and everything. We came together in America. You see how messed up it is now. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues, call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.